In the videos on their TikTok account, this cold rock store in regional Victoria looks like a fun place to work for young people. But the Shepparton ice cream store is now facing over 100 criminal charges for allegedly breaking child employment laws relating to children under 15. They're facing some very serious charges. We're up to in takeaway food. Robert Hortle heads up Victoria's child labour watchdog and is bringing the charges against Cold Rock. With around one in ten children under 15 having a job in Victoria, the Commission is focused on making sure businesses are doing the right thing by their young employees. 7.30 can reveal that the Shepparton store allegedly hired six children for more hours than they were legally allowed to work, failed to give them required rest breaks and employed them later than 9pm. For the employer, they can face fines of up to $20,000 per breach of the law uh, and we're alleging you know, into the hundreds of, of breaches for these businesses. So there's a big liability here for the employer, potentially, and there is um, certainly a risk to children if the laws aren't complied with. The case will be heard in court next month. 7.30 visited the Cold Rock store in Shepparton and contacted the owner of the franchise, who declined to comment on the criminal charges. Cold Rock's head office also declined to comment. The Child Employment Watchdog Wage Inspector in Victoria is zeroing in on the state's rural and regional businesses where they believe child employment breaches may be more prevalent. They're also focusing on some specific industries. We're certainly seeing some trends in the hospitality and retail industry, so they've, they've been a focus of ours over the last 12 months and will continue to be a focus of ours. Also in hot water from the watchdog is takeaway chicken outlet Red Rooster in Wodonga, which 7.30 can reveal is facing 355 charges of employing 10 children under the age of 15 without a permit, failing to ensure they were supervised by someone with a working with children clearance, employing the children for more hours than they're permitted to, and for rostering them on after 9pm. 7.30 spoke to the owners of the store who declined to comment on the allegations. The case will be heard before the Melbourne Magistrates Court tomorrow. I think these big brands, they operate under a social licence. They're asking us to trust their brand and to trust their product. Uh, parents and guardians are trusting them to employ their kids. Um, if you want to be trusted, you have to be trustworthy and that means complying with the law. In a statement to 7.30, a spokesman for Red Rooster Head Office said they were disappointed to learn of the charges which represented a serious breach of policies and that they may terminate the franchisee's contract. Children are not adults in the workplace. They don't have the same level of stamina. They don't always have the same judgment and that's why these laws are in place. They're in place to be protective. Like many young people, 16-year-old Lucy Cooper wasn't aware of child employment laws when she got her first job. I reckon not many people do know the law. They just want like a job to like earn money and all this, just so they can go do their own thing and like buy their own stuff. Lucy worked at the Red Rooster in Wodonga, but she isn't part of the legal action and said she was happy with her time working at the franchise. I'm currently 16 years old, but I started at about 14 and eight months old. Some days I'd start at like four after school and finish at about eight, or other days it was like a five till 10, depending if it was like a close. Some days it felt very late and like with school and all that because I'd be getting home at like 10, 20, depending on like all that, then having to get ready and then go to bed and then I'd be waking up late because of all of it. Lucy and her mother were surprised when they were told by 7.30 that the restaurant was facing criminal charges. I was definitely not aware and when I found out I sort of wasn't really shocked but I was also like shocked at the same time because it was just so like mind-blowing that that was all happening. Children may find themselves uh, not equipped with the skills to ask questions of their employer, to raise issues about their working conditions. As child employment expert Dr Gabriel Golding explains, laws are vastly different across states and territories. We do have a real hodgepodge of regulation. In South Australia and in Tasmania, the regulation is quite light. Uh, so the, the prohibitions around children performing work occur only during school hours and work can be done by them at other times. Uh, in other jurisdictions, it is the case, uh, for example, in Victoria, that you need to actually seek a permit to be able to employ a child. 
Dr Golding is calling for a streamlining of child labour laws across the country. I think some sense of harmonisation of these laws would generate some clarity. Commissioner Robert Hortle said there would be little tolerance for big companies whose franchises break laws. I tend to think that if an employer can guarantee the quality of a burger or the ingredients in a muffin, whether it's bought in Bustleton or Brunswick, that they can put systems in place to comply with child employment laws. Um, I don't think the community differentiates whether or not it's a franchisee or a franchisor. I think what they expect is that these brands get it right and that children are employed safely in the workplace.